Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Hello, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Learn French with Anubhav. If you have already subscribed to my channel, press the bell icon to get the latest updates. In today's class, we are finally beginning with the textbook, Good and Long, A the Secret Results of Your Cells, G. Moj by G. Moj, Volume 2, recommended by CKC Board, Millennium Edition, Ashet Livda, Goyal Publishers. Right. So, we are directly moving to chapter number one, of course. Uh, the first chapter for class 11th, CBSC board. Okay, so in the beginning of the chapter, you can see a grammar section. So in grammar, we have two topics. Valve transitive, a valve and transitive, then transitive direct and transitive indirect. And then we have uh, the uh, genre, they know, the pays et the province. So the genre of the nouns, the names, basically, of the countries and the province. Like, uh, how do we uh, put the preposition, right? AU for masculine countries, EN for feminine countries, AUX for plural, and R with an X for grave for cities. Right. Now, these two topics have been already covered on my channel. I will be putting their links in the description box below. Okay. For these two topics. Now, as I said in my important announcement video that Gamo, we will not do as frequent as compared to cultural civilization of this book. Right. But we will, of course, do all the topics and the topics which are already there on my channel for those i will be simply putting the link in the description box okay and if there is anything extra in that particular topic then i will definitely discuss within the video itself right since these two are already there so i'm putting the link in the description box right we can directly move to the passage a voyage à travers la france so a trip to the france Let's start reading. Eh bien, Monsieur Vincent, à quoi pensez-vous? Ah, well, Mr. Vincent, what are you thinking about? I go to share Canada. You are thinking about your dear Canada? Hélas, no, je suis si occupé. Hélas, uh, no, I'm very occupied. I'm very busy. C'est vrai, that's true. Vous avez beaucoup d'articles à écrire pour le courrier de Montréal? So, yeah, that's true. You have a lot of articles to write for the Montreal Courier. Must be some sort of magazine. Pourtant, yet, voici un bon mois d'octobre, les pays jaunis à peine. So, yet, there's a, this beautiful month of October. The leaves are turning yellow. Jaunis uh, means to turn yellow. It comes from the word jaune, which means yellow. And jaunis, the third person, uh, a plural conjugation, it means to turn yellow. Okay, a pen, barely they are turning yellow. The leaves are turning ye uh, yellow barely. Si nous faisons une promenade au Luxembourg ou au Tuileries. So these are the gardens. Okay, Jardin du Luxembourg, Jardin de Tuileries. These are the names of the gardens. So uh, if we can have a walk in the gardens of the Luxembourg or the Tuileries, uh, je n'ai pas le temps de flâner. Flâner means to stroll. Okay. To stroll. I don't have the time to stroll. Je vais partir dans deux jours pour faire un long reportage à travers la France. So, why I don't have the time to stroll? Because I'm going to leave within two days for making a long report to the France, like traveling to the France. Chez monsieur, je vous envie, vous allez visiter la pays la plus variée du monde. So, dear mister, I am jealous. Like, uh, je vous envie, okay, I envy you. Uh, you are going to visit the most varied country of Europe. J'ai voyagé. Uh, by the way, we are in page number two. If you have the textbook, you can open it. Now we are moving to page number three. J'ai voyagé un peu partout. So, I have traveled a little bit au Brazil, en Angleterre, en Russie, au Malo. So, in Brazil, uh, uh, to England, to Russia, and to Morocco. Mais je suis heureux de visiter la France. But I am happy to visit the France. Et comment voyagerez-vous? And how you will travel? En automobile. J'ai acheté cette petite voiture française. So, by car. 
I have bought a small, this small French car. Vous serez longtemps absent. So you will be uh, absent for a long time. Plusieurs mois. Several months. Mais je reviendrai de temps à d'autre à Paris pour revoir Margaret et mes enfants. So, uh, but I will return uh, sometime or the other to Paris to again see Margaret. Margaret must be Monsieur Vincent's wife and my children. Okay, so he will, so in some time or the other, he will come back to Paris to meet his wife and his children. Uh, have you chosen your itinerary? Itinerary. Itinerary is like the list of things which you get when you go to a trip, right? Like on this day you will go here, day two you will go here, like that. Every detail uh, is there. So, oui, j'avais monté vers le nord vers l'île, descendre par les allées et Strasbourg jusqu'à jusqu'à Florence du Sud. So yes, I will climb towards the north, towards l'île. Uh, I will come down by the east and Strasbourg. Strasbourg must be Strasbourg. Uh, just uh, almost to the provinces of the south. Vous voulez dire la midi de la France? So, uh, yeah, interesting thing, like midi, do midi means middle, but in this context, midi de France means a south of France. Okay, so he's saying, uh, you want to say uh, the south of France? Oui, c'est cela, yeah, that's it. Uh, oui, je remonterai par le centre et par l'ouest. So then I will climb back to the center and by the west. Okay. Au printemps, je serai en Bretagne. So in the, the spring, I will be in Brit, uh, Brit, Bretagne. Must be Brittany, if I'm not wrong. Et en juillet, je rentrerai à Paris. And in July, I will live to Paris. Vous voyez, je vais connaître la France sous tous ces aspects. Et par tous les temps, Soleil ou nuage, neige, pluie, vent ou tempête. So, you see, I know, I'm going to know the France under all the aspects, uh, by all the aspects of the weather. For example, the sun or the clouds, the snow or the rain, the wind or the storm, right. So now we have a few questions, okay. Of course these exercises we will do separately since as I said we will be directly discussing about the back questions, 205 onwards, okay. Grammar and other things will be discussed afterwards. So I am directly moving to those questions for which I need to uh, get my resistor, just give me a minute. Here's my register, I've written the question and answers here. Of course all the questions are based on the chapter, lesson 1, text. But for this textbook it's not like every time you're gonna get the answer from the text, okay? It's like you need to search or frame the answer sometimes on your own as well. The example is the very first question. Qu'est-ce qu'un uh, qu qu reportage? So, what's the report? Uh, in the text we are talking about that uh, Mr. Vassar is going to write a long report, but we didn't get to know what is a report, right? So I tried uh, mixing and making a nice definition, uh, like I mixed two, two definitions together to make a nice definition of the word repo uh, reportage. Okay, so that's what I'm writing here. As long as your answer is right and relevant, it's fine. It's just that I'm writing the, my definition, okay, that I made leaving a few uh, existing definitions. Okay, so. Le reportage est un 
form the creature keep it organize autour de l'identification et de l'examen conçu des problèmes des événements ou des découvertes. This much is fine for the definition, but if you want to add an extra line, you can. C'est aussi un article où un journaliste relate une enquête. So, a report. The report is a form of writing which is organized around the identification and examining the problems. Uh, the events or the discoveries. It is also referred to an article where a journalist relates to a survey. This one definition is fine. I know it's a bit long, but this should work. Okay. Second, qui va faire un reportage à travers la France? Who is going to uh, make a report uh, while going through France? Monsieur Vincent Knight. So, you can write in full, you can write capital M and then full stop, it's your choice. Monsieur Vincent. Write in full statements, please. Okay. Paraphrase the questions, it's a subjective paper. Monsieur Vincent va faire un reportage. La France. Right. Number three, we have La France est elle un pays varié. The France is it a varied country. Now, in the text, it's clearly mentioned that the person says, the person who's speaking to Mr. Vessel, that I envy you, you are visiting the most varied country of Europe. Right. So that indicates that yes, France is a varied country. So V. La France est un pays varié. Right. Now I need to rub this whole answer. Please have a look or you can take a screenshot out of it. Three, two, one, let's go. Now I need to erase it. These questions are really going to help in your uh, fill in the blanks, subjective questions, and section A of your exam. Okay, section A, the scene passage portion, where the text will be from the chapters. It could be from any chapter, which is there in the syllabus, right? Then marker question can come. Of course, then marker question will be coming. So it can be from any chapter, which is there in the syllabus. Three, fourth, cover Mr. Rasson voyagera till. Now, how Mr. Russell, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Vincent is going to travel? Now, it's clearly mentioned that it's, he's going to travel by automobile, but you can add an extra line that he has purchased a small French car, just an extra bit of information. You can add it, right? So, comment Monsieur Vincent voyagera-t-il? Monsieur Vincent voyagera by car or by automobile automobile il a acheté une petite voiture française okay bye
right. Next question is, Seratin not or absent. So is he going to be uh, absent for a long time? Yes, he is going to be. Like he is going to be absent for several months. Right. So you can mention this again as extra bit of information. Oui. Il sera longtemps absent. Il sera longtemps absent. Uh, comment? Il sera absent pour plusieurs, plusieurs mois. Right. Number six, we have par où passera-t-il? So what time he is going to pass? Oh, he's going to go to a lot of places. Uh, so first he is going towards the north. Il passera le nord. Towards Lille, capital L. Okay. Towards Lille, then Le, East. Is Strasbourg hmm. just go Provence Do you now I need to it is two and three? Do suit or you can write to do midi. Now there's some more extra bit of information like he will be going to uh, going back to center and then he will go back to uh, center and or west, right? West, right? So, comma, il Raymond Terra, you can write like this. Uh, par le centre et par l'ouest. Ok. Seven. Quand sera-t-il en Bretagne? So when he will be in Bretagne. So he will be in Bretagne in spring season. It's clearly mentioned. So El sera en Bretagne during spring season Breton Il sera en Bretagne au Breton I think there are like three four questions more so I need to erase more of course More. Fine. When he will return in Paris. Uh, to Paris, sorry. When he will return to Paris. So it's again mentioned in July, right? Or July, as much as I remember. It's July, yes. Il reviendra à Paris. En juillet. Right. Il reviendra à Paris en juillet. Uh, should it be capital? No, following the punctuation of uh, the textbook, it should be like this only. Uh, J with in smaller case, right? Lower case. Ninth, cite quelques aspects du temps qu'il fait. So name a few aspects of weather. Okay, we can name it clearly mentioned in the chapter as well. So, these aspects 
diu Tou, què hem fet? Som el sol, el sol, la neix, el snow, el vent, el vent, la tempet, el sol, etc. This completes your Cultural Series of Your Potion for Lesson 1. Next video will be uh, Cultural Series of Your for Lesson number 2. So, thanks for watching. Oh, wait. Stay to Fushiri. That's all for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Learn Printed and Firm. And if you have any doubt or suggestion, you may write that in the comment section below. You can also like my Facebook page by the same name, Learn Printed and Firm. See you in my next video. Thanks for watching. All of one. You get power for a long time. Stay in love. Now it's fine.